Real. I throw a piece up. Hi, have you or your friend been injured or defamed by a crazy lady? Well, you've come to the right place. I'm Lawyer Leo. I, I work for close to nothing. I went to the law school of Yale, Lur, and I also graduated from Harvard. So I have 17 years experience flipping burgers. And I guarantee that if I don't win your case, you can mace my face. <laughs> That's the Leo guarantee. So, once again, if you need help, call me on YouTube at 6800-461-2689945026. Oh, That's 483-YOU-GOT-IT.COM. All right, well, that's that's my ad. What's up, everyone? It's Loyal Leo, and we are back today looking at the cross-examination of Amber Heard. And things are going to get wild. This is going to be one of the longest cases we've ever done. If this is your first video or you haven't fully kept up in the case, I suggest you watch my other videos before watching this one. It probably will give you more context. But if you don't want to, basically, we're at the point where Johnny Depp has testified, Amber Heard has testified, Come up in the spot looking extra fly. and now she's getting cross-examined by Johnny's lawyers, as well as the redirect, which is kind of weird. Before we start the video, Hi, I'm 16 Leo. Totally different from the other guy. That's believable. And I am here to plug my b my channel, Leo Live. Have you ever wondered to yourself, what what would he look like in a bald cap? But it doesn't but it's not his skin color. There you go. Well how about a pirate? There you go. Have you ever seen me go outside? There you go. Nah, but for real, I would really encourage you to subscribe to the other channel, Leo Live. That is going to blow your socks off, among other things. I'll be posting on that channel pretty often along with this channel. Now you got more of me. If you wanted less of me, but if I haven't sold you yet, here's a little trailer from that channel. I make time to phone my ex to argue with her, after which I proceed to cry on my floor for 10 to 20 minutes tops. What's up guys, it's Joey Salads. It's Joey Salads, I'm selling a bricks. I'm, I'm just putting it up in my pocket. Whoop, brick, whoop. I'm 25 years old, never had a girlfriend. I live in an RV. You should live in VR, bro. <laughs> Maybe you have a better fucking time there. You gonna bring your girlfriend? Oh. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, of hey, course you I- You don't have a girlfriend? He hasn't had a girlfriend since the accident. Oh my god, they're talking about me. Quick, make something up. Dude, who believes in stuff like that? Whoa, what? Wait, wait. what? Have you always been wearing that? Yeah, it's a bad No, 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 no. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. What, what is- <laughs> Hopefully you do subscribe and if you are one of the people who do hit me up on my Instagram That way we can decide what my other fan base name is gonna be called <laughs> This way I can have both the fan bases fight each other I'm just a chaotic person. I don't this is ads over. I think we should just get started. I put the lit in litigation What the hell objection relevance? You don't have to don't say objection. Sorry one more thing before we start I say this in every video we do about this case. I don't want to marginalize how real SA and DA is. And I want to just say that, you know, my heart goes out to SA and DA survivors and people who have to live with that. And this case is not meant to marginalize it or minimalize your plight. Any Anything I do humor-wise and stuff doesn't... I, I hope that it's not making you feel any sort of uncomfort. Because that's not what I'm trying to do. And I don't think that this case is trying to do that. But... The way Amber's going about things, it makes it really sad if uh, if someone actually has this happen to them and then has to listen to her and because of her, they are not getting heard as much. No pun intended. Um. So yes, I just want to say that I recognize this and I'm sorry that you, anybody who, who went through that. Good afternoon, Miss Heard. Good afternoon. Objection. Bad afternoon. She's going to get grilled. She's going to get grilled like a Nando's burger. Mr. Depp hasn't looked at you once this entire trial, has he? Objection. Speculation. I hate to be on Amber's lawyer's side here, but what is the old lady doing? Miss Bretta Hoffman is sleeping on the job. I, I'm sorry, I don't mean to call her old, but clearly her granny pulls are wearing off or something. You can very clearly object to this. And be like, that's speculation. How could you possibly say the whole trial he wasn't? What? Not that I've noticed, no. You've looked at him, though, many times, haven't you? Yes, I have. 
You know exactly why Mr. Depp won't look back at you, don't you? Can, can someone please help Amble? <laughs> Nobody's helping Amble. Even her lawyers are like, ah, she's got this one. That's why not just sit back. What happened to my, my man, Jay Rottenburn? I cannot believe I'm saying this, but I miss that dude. One of the last times you ever saw Mr. Depp was when you met him in San Francisco in July of 2016. I got my restraining order before that, yes. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> Can we slow-mo on that? She did an eye roll in the middle of court. Um, yeah, I got my restraining order in 2016, so I don't like him. Let's please play Plaintiff's Exhibit 1229. Um, one of the first questions your counsel asked you on direct is, why are you here? Do you remember that? I do. How do they ask it? <laughs> do they ask it like, why, why are you here? Or do they ask it like, why are you here? Ugh. Um, also, you know, Amber Heard really chose the, the mini-me Austin Powers evil superhero a million dollars type thing, huh? I don't know why she chose this outfit. She looks like a damn supervillain. <laughs> why? I thought you're supposed to look favorable in court. Would you not wear something that like looks a bit different? I'm saying if I was Amber's team, I would have asked her for the hair to be down. I would have asked her to wear light colors, something that's comfort uh, worthy, something that makes a, a jury look at you and be like, oh, yeah, okay, I like that. But she chose to go with evil supervillain who's going to take over the world if you don't stop her look. Interesting choice. Let's please play plaintiff exhibit 357A, which is already in evidence, Your Honor. Also, I'm going to give anybody $10 if they can comment below and tell me what the hell is in Amber Heard's bottle. I've been, this whole trial, I promise you, I promise you, this whole trial, I've been looking at it thinking, is that lean? Why is this purple stuff that she's drinking? With a little bit of Ivan's ooze. Don't tell me vitamin water. I feel like she put some lean in there. She, she got some codeine in that. Right, and see what, the, see what the jury judge thinks. Tell the world, Johnny. Tell them Johnny Depp. I joined Depp. That's your voice on that recording, right? Yes, it is. I was saying it to the man who beat me up, yes. I, I absolutely detest how Amber Heard always, when she answers, she looks at the jury as if to sort of receive some sort of, I don't know, response or... Some sort of approval from the jury every time she answers a question. Camille, who is uh, Johnny Depp's hot lawyer, just by the way. Objection. Relevance. Um, unprofessional. Objection. Okay, fair enough. Professional lawyer. Every time Camille asks Amber Heard a question, she'll look over to the side and be like, yes. Correct. I don't know why, but I just hate that level of acting. You don't have to address the jury. Pretend they're not there. Please. I thought it was preposterous. And the man you beat up numerous times. <laughs> Objection. Objection. Speculation. If this old fart of a lady is not going to do her job, I guess I'm going to have to. I'm not even on Amber's team here. How am I the one objectioning? In which court can you? Can the lawyer just be like, Did you beat her up? And the other lawyer is like, Did you? What? <laughs> What is she doing? Brother needs to step up her game, man. Numerous times. <laughs> right, Miss Heard? I could never hurt Johnny. Nah, I mean, we got you on tape saying multiple times that you did, so. You're here in this courtroom because Mr. Depp finally told the world that he is a victim of domestic violence. I know that he is suing me um, and has sued. Johnny Depp should write a book called Amber Heard from pursuing to just suing. <laughs> you didn't think he would tell the world he was a victim of domestic violence, did you? I found it hard to believe. With all due respect, I wasn't saying it because he's a man. I was saying it because he's a man who beat me up for five years. Yeah, but you still said the word man, implying the uh, gender bias that is, generally speaking seen upon uh the world as you know males are the ones who normally do this so you know that implication does go far stereotypes do exist whether we like it or not it is a thing it's, you can't just pretend that's not a thing just because you say it mr depp is your victim isn't he okay 
Objection. <laughs> Bre Brenna! Brenna, wake up! She's so- she's sleeping. I'm not sure what Brenda- Brenna- I don't even know her name, man. Karen, what the hell are you doing, man? And once he left you, you continued to abuse him publicly by calling him an abuser, didn't you? He is an abuser, and you can look either of us up online and figure out who's being abused online. <laughs> I'm sorry. What the? What? Come on, bro, if you look up anyone online for long enough, you'll see- oh, uh, you, Have shit. you seen Will Smith after the slap? Again. I don't think I've ever seen a fall that hard from Grace. You could look anybody up online and you find a little bit of hate. Amber, you have a lot of hate because people don't believe you. It doesn't mean that they're wrong. There's probably good reason that people don't believe you. So, <laughs> I don't think looking you up on the internet is a good thing. And also, the internet's wrong about a lot of things anyway. They were wrong about Vanilla Ice. He's great. Mr. Depp wears rings on every finger, doesn't he, Miss Heard? That's my experience, yes. So Mr. Depp hit you in the face multiple times while he was wearing rings on this occasion. You testified that this is a picture you took after that incident. Camille will now go into, like, in-depth cross-examination about the things that Amber said during her testimony. The goal is to uh, break credibility throughout the statements and see if the things that she said hold any validation. Some of them might... Uh, not actually be true and Camille's goal is to just bring the truth out to the people in any way she can and sometimes if not that then through the words Amber says and that's what she's trying to do one by one which is this whole cross-examination while also uh, bringing into question her character characteristics and things that she will say throughout this trial that may contribute to her actual character and what I mean by that is the way that she acts on the stand could possibly potentially influence a jury to be like, oh, you know what, I hear that on the tape, I see that over there. I'm putting two and two together. Sometimes making the person on trial a little squirmish and giving them a little attitude or, or uh, riling them up is a good thing. Yes, that was one where he grabbed me. And hit you in the face so many times that you don't remember. Not that this picture shows. I did not need to go to the doctor at the time. Despite hitting you several times that you lost count with rings on your fi on his fingers. That's correct. Okay, so the first thing that we want to bring up is the fact that into evidence she put in her bruised arm where I remember she said Johnny grabbed her arm and that is how the bruise occurred, which personally I don't believe. Secondly, she now testifies Johnny had wore rings on every finger and um, either slapped or punched her. I, I wear rings myself. I don't have as many as Johnny, but I would venture to say that the human face probably would not stand metal or diamond or any other hard material being uh, pushed onto your face at a high velocity multiple times would leave some sort of bruising. And you testified you felt like your lip went through your teeth and it got a little blood on the wall. Yes. There isn't a picture of you with injuries after that alleged incident, is there? Oh, thank God someone asked. I mean, like, that was the thing that I said. What happened was Amber said that Johnny hit her to the point her lip actually went into her mouth, into her teeth, and splattered blood on the wall. If that was the case, I would have taken a picture of either the wall, my face, or something that would have led uh, that injury to sustain, because that is, that has to be quite a painful and also noticeable injury. Definitely more so than the arm. And if you're going to show the arm, why not show the real injury? That's like being stabbed and kicked in the foot and then showing your pinky toe a little, like, you know, red and being like, look at this, I got stabbed. Kind of weird. Testify that Mr. Depp, quote, whacked you in the face. And you went to the bathroom after that, right? I did. When you came out of the bathroom, Jerry Judge, Mr. Depp's security guard, now, I want to also bring this out and shout out to my boy East City Elvin for actually uh, bringing my attention to this. Uh, Jerry Judge has now passed away. This is uh, someone who cannot speak back and she seems to lean on him as the only person from Johnny's team who was ever uh, concerned about her or showed this major concern that somehow no other members of Johnny's team is showing. But she paints Mr. Judge as this person who was quite the uh, caring person towards her and was worried about her safety. And the issue is, 
he can't speak for himself or stand trial because he's not there anymore. I don't know if this is shameless or shady tactics, but if this is what Amber's going for, that is just really low, really slimy. This passed away, pointed out that your nose was bleeding, right? He did that in the hallway. And you said you hadn't known that your nose was bleeding until Jerry Judge pointed it out to you? Can we can we just break that down? I would venture the first thing, if I got punched in the face, in the nose, the first thing I do is this. Because as any human would do, you check for damage. If you felt a break, I think you'd be in major pain because a nose break, you'd definitely be able to feel it. But I think even with a punch in the face, you definitely feel some sort of discharge running down. It's like crying and someone else pointing out that you have tears in your eyes. It's almost a non-factor. You went into the bathroom and didn't look in the mirror, which I assume was in the bathroom, to notice that your nose is bleeding? That's not why I went into the bathroom. I went into the bathroom to take a big <laughs> your honor. Your honor, it was bro. I ate a Taco Bell and I tell you what, man, that, that just goes right through me. I, hey, my nose might have been bleeding, but if if I didn't go to the bathroom at that very minute, my panties might have been bleeding even more. She should have just said that. If she said <laughs> I went to take a <laughs> your honor, I think everyone would have just moved on and been like. Okay, fair enough. Ms. Heard, this is a picture of you and Mr. Depp in Russia, correct? That's correct. You don't have any visible injuries to your face, do you? None that you can see. None that you can see? Objection. Bullshit, Anna. I'm sorry. Sorry. None that you can see. He whacked me in the face so hard that I thought my nose was broken. There we are, like a few days later, no injuries that you can see. This is also a picture from when you were in Russia for the Lone Ranger premiere, right? You have no visible injuries to your face, do you? None that you can see. Then who is the one that I'm supposed to see it? Am I supposed to contact Wolverine or any of the X-Men to try and see beyond your skin so I can see the injury to your head? Because that's the only place that I can ever see the injury. You must have injured something to think that you have an injury. Your face looks great. Is David Blaine your makeup artist because you have to do some magic to hide the injuries with that scope that you say. Unless they didn't happen, which it seems to be the case. Even though Mr. Depp whacked you in the face so hard that your nose bled? Uh, he did. So I just wanted to bring up a picture of what an actual nose break looks like and sorry for the squeamish. I tried to pick a picture that wasn't too bad. I picked my boy John Cena. John Cena! He got his nose wrecked. Uh, now this is a different case because it's a wrestler but if you look at any nose that breaks they have to break the cleft here i think or are you sure about break? that i'm sorry um it has to break in order for the nose to actually break so it will look like this this is a slightly more exaggerated picture of what it would look like so amber's nose not looking like that is not a break you'd know bruising around the eyes and swelling off the nose fracture of nasal bones like a fat kid at 12 30 in school you know when it's break. You said your nose was, quote, swollen, discolored, red. That is correct. I took a picture of that. You're telling me if she put on, like, a red afro wig, she'd be Ronald McDonald? Because <laughs> you said it was big, swollen, and red? You're telling me she could have looked like a real clown? Why didn't she do it? ba da ba ba, -ba I'm lying. In court. But you didn't show that picture to the story, did you? I would like to. What? <laughs> Objection. What the frick? I would like to show the evidence to court. Why don't you? How'd you submit the evidence of your, you know, your arm, but you don't have no evidence of something that could probably swing this case into a whole new direction? Why don't you show that evidence? I know you'd like to. Why don't you? Under an obligation to produce all photographs after any alleged incidents of violence, right, Miss Heard? I produced everything. You didn't produce any photographs after the Met Gala. I produced everything. You pr produced everything. Every single thing. Okay, continue. You also understand that you're under an obligation to produce all medical records reflecting any injuries you allegedly sustained from Mr. Depp, correct? That's correct. And you haven't produced any pictures or any medical records reflecting a broken nose after the Met Gala. She barely produced any medical records point blank. I have not seen any medical records. We will see some in cross-examination, but nothing off value this woman failed to go to the doctor after being <clears throat> you know what she described as justice league type beatdown. really 
I don't I don't know another way to even say it. For some reason, this lady continues to avoid the things that she should have done in order to break this case wide open. If you really had a case, if you even showed one or two pictures of the things that you said happened and one medical record, it, it would be Sayonara Johnny. But that's not the case, is it? May of 2014, have you? I have given everything to my lawyers. Everything. I've turned over literally everything that I have. Oh, can, I think the lawyers should object to her. I cannot believe I'm saying this, but I sort of feel a little bit sorry for Amber's lawyers. The fact that they took on a losing case. And I know, you know, they should have just said no. But they're not going to win this. Imagine blaming your lawyers for not submitting evidence. You know what really happened? Is two things. One, it didn't happen and Amber didn't submit it and just lied. Or two, she submitted stuff that the lawyers looked at and went, Oh my god, we can't submit th They're gonna know, Amber. You, you drew it in red Crayola. How? Of course they're gonna know. That's probably what happened. Un unfortunately, she's trying to blame her lawyers for her not submitting evidence. This is your case. Guess what, Amber? Your lawyers are going to walk home. They're going to sleep in their beds after this. They're not going to be $50 million in debt if they lose the case. You are. So you better be fighting for your life. Don't blame the lawyers because at the end of the day, this is all on you. Uh, I'm not sure if it was broken for the record. But yeah, you should see what it looked like underneath the makeup. Uh, whoa, the makeup. Oh, shit. L'Oreal came up with a new cream. That literally turns John Cena broken nose into Amber Heard. Beautiful, perfect white nose there. Great nose for snorting cocaine and protecting yourself from all the punches in the world thrown by rings. Yeah, okay. Ah, uh, believable. God damn. That's what she said. Makeup. One day after being decked in the face, makeup does the trick. If that, Man. You, you know how many boxers would be wearing L'Oreal if that was the case? Please, Amber, please. This is a picture of you and Mr. Depp. Yeah, there's no injury there. I'm sorry, man. There is no makeup in the world that could uh, that could do that. No. Uh, this is a picture of me um, after he did whack me in the face. The night after, right? Yes, it is. I believe it was the night after, yes. Does he have ghost hands? I mean, you look perfectly normal. I, I'm not saying that Johnny Depp is the Mike Tyson of acting in terms of punching power, but I don't think this man is so old that when he, you know, makes his hand into a fist, it literally turns into dust. And if he's neither here nor there, then I would venture to say, if you take one to the face, you're definitely going to feel it. Your nose doesn't appear to be injured in any of these pictures, does it, Miss Heard? I'm wearing makeup. Your nose doesn't appear to be injured in any of these pictures, does it, Miss Heard? That's why I'm wearing makeup. G did, once again, L'Oreal uh, partnered with Nivea for some cream and makeup, uh, and they call it delusional. Ice reduces swelling. Normally, the swelling after that kind of injury is not as bad as you would, might imagine, and for me, it wasn't that bad. Okay, most broken noses... Uh, need only home care and a follow-up visit with the doctor. The swelling should go down in a few days. Bruises around your eyes and nose should go away in two to three weeks. You heal best when you take good care of yourself. One day? I doubt it. I have a picture of it underneath the makeup. That's how I know how to reference it. Picture you haven't produced or shown to this jury, right, Miss Heard? I have, so I produced everything. Amber's saying that you should have seen it when not actually showing it has the same energy as me or anyone being like, yeah, you, my girlfriend likes the way I dress. And people being like, where's your girlfriend, Leo? <laughs> uh, England. But you haven't shown it to this jury. I would very much like to. And you told this jury that on this occasion, Mr. Depp was kneeling on your back. That's just, uh, I, you know what? That sounds sexy to me. I would like my partner to kneel on my back. Like Armstrong. Le kneel on me like Armstrong, baby. I want you to untie those knots before we tie the knot, if you know what I mean. Perhaps I misspoke or I misunderstood. It was on the way back from it was after I was concerned. After, you know, concerned that there would be marks in any photographs since we were being photographed at Johnny's press event. If that was the case, why would you wear a backless dress? Now, I'm not saying that, you know, you should be covering it up, but I believe you claim this man kicked you with the might of Zeus 
And uh, I don't know what else he did. Maybe karate chopped your back into oblivion. I, I can't even remember the damn stories you tell. But I'm, I'm sorry. I just don't get it. This is you in the backless dress at the Mordecai premiere in Tokyo. You would agree that there are no bruises or visible marks. No, not that I could see. You testified that you had cuts on the bottoms of your feet as well. Yes, that's true. You didn't take any pictures of these injuries while you were in Australia, did you? It was kind of hard to put the camera near my feet, your honor. That's like, I don't know how to do it. Also, I don't think my camera does the reverse thing, so I have to like turn it around. And then I can't even see where I'm taking the picture. So, your honor, I'm not good with technology, so like... But it would, but it happened. I'm with Camille. Why wouldn't you take these pictures? If you have clear-cut evidence, if a man really did this to you, then I am completely on your side. I, I, why, why would I ever be on the person's side if that actually happened to you? I'm on the side of justice. I am on the side of truth. And because I think you're lying, I'm going to grill you like a sandwich, bro. I don't think, no, I don't think I took any pictures. You testified that you were also with a liquor bottle in Australia, right, Ms. Heard? There aren't any medical records reflecting that you sought medical treatment for any of these injuries, are there? Need I remind you, she also said, and I quote, well, I'll paraphrase it, um, she had a, a broken glass. Johnny said, apparently broke the glass, and she had broken glass in her coochie. I'm saying if you're not going to seek medical treatment for that, nothing's going to get you to the doctor. If you if you literally had cancer, you'd be like, I'll walk it off at that point. Like I just, I can't, Amber's painting herself to be this like superhuman figure and Johnny is a super, super villain, actually like the Hulk. Not for the cuts? No. Not for the injuries to your face? I didn't need to. My boy Ben over there is just, you know, I don't know what he thinks about most of the day, but I love his face. He's like the American Mr. Bean for me. Well, this jury that after this incident, you had a broken nose. It certainly felt like it. <laughs> God, what are you sucking that puddle? <laughs> you really sucked the juices out of that one, Amber. There was a blood everywhere, blood all over the pillows. My head was bleeding from the ripped out hair chunks of hair on the floor all over the place actually the call giving that testimony Ms. Heard? yes exactly blood chunks of hair nose is bleeding like a faucet and you didn't take none of those pictures i don't want to see that sounds like a conor mcgregor fight my goodness again it's such a horrible thing to describe and i don't want to like i never thought i'd go out here not thinking like oh man i don't believe you but it's it may make it harder and harder to believe when you say these inflammatory statements and like have no basis for them there's no backup there's no evidence i know we're supposed to believe the person but like it's at the expense of another person so you you gotta give me something i can't just believe you so you had a broken nose right that's absolutely what i thought ah that's absolutely what i thought so you had a broken nose a hundred percent it was my opinion that that's the truth all right and so you're a good actress I, in my firm opinion, I believe 100% that that's correct. Objection! Relevance? Have you won Oscars? I've won 26 Oscars, in my opinion. You haven't been in 26 movies. I've been in 300 movies, to my recollection of my opinion, in my mind. Okay, well, if we're going to talk about your mind and your opinion, then I guess every Johnny doing this is now a broken face, fractured to the face, Johnny doing a hug is now strangulation technique. Uh, Johnny come through the door is like, here is Johnny from The Shining. I first want to talk to you about your appearance on The James Corden Show. You appeared on The James Corden Show the day after this alleged incident, right? I did. I grew up, you know, in Texas riding horses and... Oh, really? You know... Ah, uh, yes, now The James Corden Club. I actually looked at this on my own, but I guess they're going to look at it in cross-examination. I've been doing the work before them, for them, you know what I mean? <laughs> Pro boner, like I said. But yes, um, besides the fact that we're going to listen to Amber Heard's thing, I just also want you to hear how James Corden laughs. This man this man really phones it in. Shooting guns, yes, but ballet, no. <laughs> Race? <laughs> so I knew, and I looked fear up through the one thing that I had. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow, what a dude. 
Damn, sorry, I wasn't even listening. I all we needed to do was focus on Amber Heard's face during this. Apparently, um, she said that this was a day after Johnny had done DA to her and and stuff like that. There's also testimony or accounts. I don't know if I can say testimony of the makeup artist saying that she did not see any bruising whatsoever when she did Amber's makeup on that day. So if you have someone who did the makeup saying didn't see it. What foot do you have to stand on? There was also that account of Amber Heard talking about some sort of makeup and the makeup company actually saying, yeah, we didn't come out with that one till after the dates that you said it. So it doesn't look good for you, Amber. The photo of you opening your mouth on the right, right? That's correct. Yes. So you had a split lip when you I were sure moving did. your mouth that way. I sure did. In those photographs. Absolutely. Yeah, those are, that's not a split lip movement. I've had a split lip before. That's, that's not. Uh-uh. I definitely, I split my upper lip before. And I'll tell you what, it was so painful. I was younger as well, though. But I was talking like this. I would be like, you know, I, was like, I, don't, I don't really want anything. I didn't want to move my upper lip. I didn't want to do anything like this because it, it stung when I did that. So it, the way that she talks has a lot of upper lip movement. And uh, doesn't look like that's restricted in any way. This is a picture of you after the incident on December 15th, 2015, right? It was. Ooh, now is my favorite part in the trial. This part. I'm going to break this down for you. These pictures ended up in People Magazine in June of 2016. Isn't that right, Ms. Heard? That's correct. You gave these pictures to People Magazine after you publicly accused Mr. Depp of domestic abuse, didn't you? I didn't personally know. Objection. People magazine got pictures that only this is a picture that Amber Heard took. This is not a candid, right? So when you have pictures, sometimes you'll look at those magazines and you'll see them on the street and a paparazzi will snap them. Like it'll be like, uh, Matt Damon caught cheating on his diet. This is not a candid. This is a photo that's been given in, submitted, because you want to be on the front page and you know what? They pay good money for that stuff because it drives attention to their paper. So if they can get the inside scoop on something that is toxic or horrible or something that'll get readers to digest it, they will pay that money. But who's going to release a picture that only they have? Hmm. Well, it's not Johnny because he doesn't have the picture. Amber took the picture. Who else could give it to People Magazine? It's just you, Anvil. Let me hear what you have to say, though. No, I gave these um, pictures, actually, to my lawyers and my representatives at the time. Um, so it's your testimony, Ms. Heard, that your lawyers and representatives gave these pictures of their client to People Magazine in the middle of a contentious divorce? The, the reason Camille is laughing is because <laughs> if you give those pictures to your lawyers or PR or whatever, and they put it up without your consent... <laughs> They'd be the ones sitting in court next to you. You could sue the hell out of them. There's no way on earth anybody's PR team is allowed to do things without your consent. That's that's just not true. You have to okay it. And you're doing it. They're doing everything on your behalf. They're not just doing it and then saying love with the repercussions. That's not what PR is. <laughs> what is wrong with you? This is your medical record for December seventeenth, two thousand fifteen, isn't it, Ms. Heard? I went to Doctor Kipper. Went to Doctor Kipper's office for a concussion check. The signature. It says headache on the on the report. I just want to say that a concussion check would say concussion protocol check, not headache. Right, but this record doesn't document any physical injuries on you, does it? I think this medical record's missing a lot of things. Doesn't seem to be documenting anything. Oh, sorry. Of course, Amber Heard is more knowledgeable than a doctor at this point. Dr. Kipper might as well be Dr. Big Dipper because he's not even actually giving any relevant information. I love when you go to a doctor and you're like, I have this. And then he says, okay, here's the prescription. And you read it and you throw it in his face and you're like, I'll tell you what I need. These nuts, Doc. Okay, I guess the doctor's wrong and you're right, Amber. I mean, so far, everyone's been wrong and you're right. That's, that's how it works. You're the only right person in this case. And this is another picture of Mr. Depp 
asleep in a chair? No, he was um, nodding off. Uh, sleep is different. When you're nodding off, you're high on drugs. Objection. <laughs> what? <laughs> I nodded off two days ago. I tell you what, man. I wasn't high when I did it. <laughs> I didn't shoot up anything. I didn't watch Breaking Bad say, Oh my God, we need to cook, Jesse. And then, like, get high on my own supply. I was tired. What? <laughs> didn't even feel the cigarette in his hand that had you know, been burning on his leg. Uh, it was cause for alarm for me, naturally, um, because I cared about him. Oh, this is you showing care. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, of course, of course. Next time someone is like choking, I'll be like, cheese is what you're getting choked with, but I won't, I won't give you the Heimlich. I won't even do anything. I just take a picture. Or he wouldn't even feel ice cream or a lit cigarette on him. And it scared me. So you really. took a picture of it. Yes, I um, I wanted him to get help. But you sent this picture. Oh, of course. This is how he gets help. Hey, Johnny. Look at this shitty picture. I make a scrapbook called johnnynodsoff.com. This is how you want to get help, is it? I love it. I love it. The first step isn't admittance. It's taking pictures of someone. You sure to one of your friends, didn't you? Uh, I don't recall. Yes, I was asking for support. That's correct. There's no question yet, Miss Heard. Yeah, at this point, Amber Heard starts answering questions that aren't asked. This is while Camille is uh, getting evidence and like getting to her next question. Amber thinks about it, then answers it. She first says no, she didn't send um, a picture to anyone. Then probably thinks to herself, oh yeah, they do have the evidence. And answers again, changing her answer. It's a really telling piece of information showing that Amber clearly messed up with that one and didn't know how to go back. And you will see her mess up in this cross-examination a number of times. This is not the worst one. The worst one comes closer to the end. So this is what the table looked like after Mr. Depp had been doing cocaine? Uh, well, clearly he has yet to snort these lines. Doesn't really look like anyone's been doing cocaine off that table, does it? With all due respect, I'm not sure you know how that works. I don't know if that's a flex, Miss Hard. <laughs> With all due respect, I don't think you know how cocaine works. Woohoo! You testified you've done cocaine? I have. Doesn't really look like Mr. Depp or anyone was doing cocaine off that table, does it? Uh, I beg to differ with you on that. When you snort cocaine, typically it goes into your nose. Nice. A little attitude. I love the attitude coming from Amber Hood. It's going to make you look really unfavorable and i think that your lawyer should pull you aside and be like hey answer the questions nicely because that will make you look a little nicer don't give uh, people attitude that's not gonna help but at this point you're not doing anything different to help your case uh now in all fairness i think the composition of this photo is kind of crazy there's a lot of stuff going on it's neither here nor there i i can't say whether this is actually a stage photo or not everything would just be speculation so i wouldn't really bring it up in in my opinion but yeah it does seem very convenient that it's just laid out like that and taking a picture off you don't have any pictures of mr deb actually consuming cocaine do you i don't think i have a picture of him mid snort you don't even have any pictures of mr deb with cocaine what do you mean by that holding cocaine standing next to cocaine taking a picture with it smiling with it frowning with it holding it up bouncing it on his head saying, I got the cocaine. I got a jar of dirt. I got a jar of dirt. And guess what's inside it? The video of Mr. Depp in the kitchen was released online the day before your deposition. You're the one who released that video. Incorrect. Isn't that true? That's incorrect. I flew in from another place at the time, I remember. I flew in from another planet. I was filming Justice League and my, uh, my, um, my airline pilot said, we're going to Mars, baby. Miss Heard, you're under oath. Yeah, no, I wasn't even in that movie. What, what was the question? Sorry. Learning about it when I landed. So it's just a coincidence that the video you took of Mr. Depp was released the day before you were deposed in connection with your divorce from Mr. Depp. The video that I took? Yeah. It just got out. You know, I don't know how phones work. Someone t clearly hacked into my phone and then said, uh, you know, Johnny is evil 2.0 and then send it out for press release so that everyone else could think that Johnny was crazy. So... I didn't, I had nothing to do with it. I didn't even film it. The camera actually just started itself. I absolutely had nothing to do with that. I wouldn't even know how to do something like that. You wouldn't know how to send a video to someone? <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, $7 million for Mr. Depp. True? 
That's correct. 6.8, exactly. And then you released a statement in which you claimed you would be donating the entire $7 million to charity, right? Um, so this is in regard to Amber Heard saying that she will donate all of her proceeds to uh, women's rights and the Me Too movement, I believe. It was a tweet that she wrote um, saying that, yeah, that's the only reason she wants money from the divorce settlement that she got with Johnny Depp. And she would be donating 100% of the proceeds to that because she did not want the money. Did it get donated? No. The beginning of the divorce settlement, he um, donated 100000 to each charity on my behalf. That was always the agreement, actually, is for him to pay me directly. It was not his money as per the settlement agreement to give away and reap a tax benefit from. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to say, if he was going to try to get a big tax break for it, my argument, especially if we're dealing with financial stuff, I'm going to try and dispute that claim and say that if it was a huge tax break, why didn't he do it? any of the other tax years you said that he wasn't a big person in like uh giving money to charity so why wouldn't he do it because it would make sense since he's making so much money apparently he made 65 million in a year and tax on that would be ludicrous so uh, you know uh usually a company if you're registered as one will be able to donate as a gift and that is non like that's non-taxable so if you give that money away as a gift you can claim uh, a tax deduction on that. So I don't see why it would take a divorce settlement for him to want to lighten his tax load. And secondly, um, if he gave it to you, uh, could he not claim that? And if he couldn't, would it really matter? If he's making that much money, would it be that much of a tax deductible? I'm, I'm just asking. I, I just don't see how that's actually a thing or that's the reason that he's doing it. I think now that he gives you the money, you can actually have it as a tax deductible. So, so it's kind of like hypocritical almost. And, and you said publicly that the payments to the charities should not be drawn out over many years, right? I don't, I don't recall the exact words that I used, but basically that he shouldn't use this as an op a novel interest in getting a tax break. Uh, if he was paying it over multiple years, then it wouldn't contribute to the tax break. Tax breaks come every fiscal year, so that, that wouldn't be a thing. In fact, you released a statement in response to Mr. Depp's $100,000 donations to the ACLU and CHLA, didn't you? I don't recall. An article Whoa! What? Put your tongue back in your mouth, Miss Hood. What is? I don't recall, Camille. But I'll tell you what I do recall. My first partner was a woman. Okay. All right, Amber. Keep it back in your pants. If Johnny wishes to change the settlement agreement, we must insist that he honor the full amount by donating fourteen million dollars to charity, which is equal to his $7 million payment obligation to Amber. I mean, if you really cared, Amber, would it matter? Say he was doing it for tax. Say he was 100% doing it. Evil tax man, tax break. Johnny tax man! Isn't your charity still getting the money? Aren't you happy? I could care less if uh, I had a wife or ex-wife who was just the worst, but she was giving away the money to the charity that I liked. I'd be like, you know what? I'll take this. I don't care. I'll take it. My charity's getting paid. Either way, I'm happy they're going to do better. I don't care. I'm not petty about it. I don't know. It seems like we're being petty about tax situations over something that is actually being donated to people who need it, which is the end goal. Okay. You spoke about donating your divorce settlement on a Danish TV show. You appeared on a show called RTL Late Night, right? I don't recall it what show it was. Oh, yes. Danish TV, the only place that will accept Amber Heard. I, you know, who else at this point? Is she on Letterman? Is she on any other show? No. So she has to go to Daneland. <laughs> I split it between the ACLU and Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. And well, more power to you because that's that's something that I've never I heard I wanted of, uh... nothing. I wanted nothing. It's the savior complex, isn't it? It's, that's the one for me. It's those people who go on the streets and they'll give a homeless person a nickel and then post about it on their story. Saved a homeless man's life today. Feel pretty good about myself. Settlement to charity at that point, had you? That's incorrect. Sitting here today, Ms. Heard, you still haven't donated. Oh, this is my this is my other favorite part. Camille really gets out the claws on this one. The seven million dollars divorce settlement to charity. Isn't that right? Incorrect. I pledged the entirety 
No, of Miss Solomon. Objection. Uh, <laughs> synonym? <laughs> what? Well, yes, yes, yes. You pledged it, but you didn't donate it. If we're sitting here on court, there's at least 3 million owing or 3.5 million owing. So you haven't fully paid the money that you said that you pledged. Now, isn't that true? Yes, that would be the correct answer. But let's hear this. Ms. I Heard, intend to Ms. fulfill Heard, those obligations. Heard, you have not donated the seven million dollars. Donated, not pledged. I use pledge and donation synonymous with one another. <laughs> oh, do you now? You use donation and pledge synonymously? Please, okay. Hey, when I sing the American uh, national anthem, I guess I donate to the allegiance. I don't pledge it, I donate it, because it's the same thing. With one another. They but I the don't. Miss Heard, I don't use it synonymously. That's how donations are paid. Miss Heard. Imagine me uh, pledging to pay my rent. <laughs> it's synonymous with me paying it. I pledged it. Rent? Respectfully? That's not my question. You have not paid your own money to the ACLU. I have not yet. You have not paid to the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. I have not yet. Oh, so you, she paid zero. I thought she at least paid half. She didn't pay nothing. Johnny sued me. Oh, whoa, 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 don't add that extra in there. You, actually, you added extra ingredients to the cake. You added the eggshells instead of just the eggs, Anvil. What the schnitzels? Nuh-uh. Oh, Johnny was suing me, so I couldn't do it. You had at least a year. I believe. Come on now. Come on now. And he paid you in full. So, uh, psh, I'm calling cap. So, as of today, you have not donated, paid. I like how she donated, paid, transferred, wired, Venmoed, cash apped. You wanted to be seen, excuse me, as a noble victim of domestic violence. I have you? never, never wanted to be seen as a victim. Nor have you? I ever called myself one. Then why are we here? Why the hell am I even in this court if you if this never happened? The title is you victimizing yourself. It's in the title. And you said you never did it. It's in the title of the op-ed you wrote that people are suing you over this whole case. Defamation is because of this. What, what kind of the most blatant lie I've ever seen in court? Since OJ, man, what the hell? I cannot believe this. Lawyer Leo, it needs a, a ambient or something. Statement. When you say you buy a house, you don't pay Ms. for the Heard. entire house Ms. Heard. at one Respectfully. time. Well, firstly, you can, and if you have the money, you should, because then you don't get a mortgage and you don't have to pay off interest for like 30 years. So don't ever take financial advice from this clown. If you can, and you're in a, the privileged position to afford the house straight up, then do it. Uh, secondly, yeah, nobody pledges to buy a house. I don't think if you ever wrote on uh, any of the house statements that you pledged to buy it, that they'd be like, oh, okay. Yeah, you pay me whenever you want, bro. I won't even sell it to anybody else. I just wait for you. That statement isn't true today, as you sit here today, is it? It is true. I pledged the entirety. But you didn't charity. donate it. You didn't donate it. It's a yes or no. I haven't been able to obligate, I mean, to fulfill those So that's a no, right, Ms. Heard? Now, now, now you get a little taste of the attitude of Amber Heard. You see the head go from up to down. That little, that little ego position. I haven't been able to donate it. Okay. I have. If you didn't know, I'm getting sued. It's that little attitude that she's going for, and I could just see it in court. I am. I made the pledge. I want to be very clear. I pledged the entirety. I haven't been able to fulfill those pledges because I've been sued. Right. Of course. But uh, again. She've had time since Johnny paid the money in full, which you asked, and also you had a year to do it. So, um, yeah, I thought you had a job. I thought you were an Aquaman. I thought you were swimming in the money or something, man. You had all of the seven million dollars for thirteen months before Mr. Depp sued you, and you chose not to pay it to the charities. Is that I, correct? Mr. I disagree with your characterization of that. There's no other way to. I mean, I'm just saying. I, uh, whether you disagree or not, you had that amount of time before the lawsuit even took action, so you wouldn't even have known it existed. You had 13 months to do with that with the money. You also, I believe, dating my boy Elon Musk, your boy Musk, who has, you know, one of the greatest brains in history. I love him to bits. Also, one of the worst dating records in history. 
Miss Vasquez, do you want me to close the shades? That would be okay. wonderful. At this point, the light starts shining on Miss Vasquez as if she's heaven sent, and boy, is she. I'm sorry. Inappropriate? Sorry. My bad. Love a lady in a suit. Just saying. There's this light coming across. Them. I appreciate that. As that's happening, Ben Chu or Mr. Ben or Mr. Bean, as I call him, is starts looking for the light as if he can't find it, and his just face just looks so funny to me. Where is it? Let's never seen light before. <laughs> and you testified that you were quote watching the phone every single time he pulled his hand back end quote. That's correct. Now we move on to some more evidence. This is when Johnny Depp allegedly threw a phone and the phone smashed to, and I quote, smithereens, which I'm not sure how to characterize that in terms of pieces. But here we are. You submitted a declaration under the penalty of perjury in this case. Do you remember that? That is correct. While he was smashing the phone, Johnny severely injured his finger, cutting off the top of it. If you're smashing a phone, a blunt object, a phone is a blunt object. It's not an object that necessarily has any sharp edges and, and you know again i would venture to say I, I have seen the injury the injury looks like it like his finger didn't just fall off it got cut off uh unless the phone was the new motorola razor blade it just makes no sense to me unless he broke it on some sort of glass that uh was so thick that it was able to sever a finger off the vodka story seems to make more sense as vodka bottles are uh, by and large quite thick and if you break them they do leave these big chunks so uh having someone throw a bottle at you with velocity could very very well injure your hand pretty pretty badly and severely whereas i've i've not heard a phone severing a finger before lost the tip of his finger and then assaulted you with a bottle yes that's the sequence of events i have never claimed that I can remember the exact sequence of these things. This was a, a multi-day assault that took place. Multi-day? Oh god, what do you mean? So, this man was like, round one. <laughs> Alright, I'm tired. I'm, I'll catch you in the morning. This is great. Look, man, I'm nodding off right now. Uh, I'm nodding off. And then day two, he woke up, he's like, alright. Alright, Amber. Jesus Christ. Multiple days, though. Three horrible days. Miss Heard, Miss Heard, we're not talking. Miss Heard, that's not my question. I'm just talking about the that you now allege occurred. You, okay, yeah. No, uh, let's see the evidence. And if I understood your testimony correctly, you testified that this is the maker's mark bottle that Mr. Dapp sexually assaulted you with. I was never sure. Okay, you were never sure, but you knew that it was a bottle somehow. You also said the bottle left pieces in you even though that bottle's fully intact and you also said that you thought it was a fist and then compared it to that bottle you know again i'm just gonna say it these are two different things and if if you felt either one of them on your back you you definitely know like i i if i'm doing this and then i'm doing this i know one's not a fist i don't have to look at it you claim you had serious injuries after this alleged incident, right, Ms. Heard? Depends on what you would call serious. For me, um, you know, having a sore jaw and some bruises uh, at the time of my relationship wasn't that serious. That's fine, but you also claim to have bruises on both forearms and, I quote, your feet were sliced up pretty good. Seems to me like it's pretty bad. Also, uh, I believe that you did claim to say that you had thought you broke your pelvic bone. That's to the escape problem. the fight. You don't escape the fight, you escape the solution. We cannot work it out if you run away to the bathroom every time. You know, from what I can see in this relationship, it's just... Besides the fact that, uh, you know, Amber might be just a toxic human being, I think that neither of them are good for each other. And I, I think I'll say it all the time. I, I, I've, I've seen a lot of, like, relationship stuff. I think Johnny is a person who deserves sensitivity and someone who can really cater to him and be there for and with him he needs someone to nurture him and uh amber seems to be someone who likes to party likes to go out likes to enjoy that life and i think johnny by all means is introverted and they, they, they just really don't seem good for each other they seem to like each other physically and maybe on a deeper level at times but it's kind of hard to say this but if you don't meet the criteria of a person on on that deeper level 
and also you can't give them the time and care and effort that they need regardless of how good it is when it's good you need it to be tolerable when it's bad because your bad days can't be like this and and if this is happening constantly it's not gonna work and i, I think you know beyond the trial and stuff the thing that i've learned the most about their recordings is they're just two different people and 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 they need other people who can both understand them better not a bathroom door five bathroom doors and two bedrooms uh is Johnny that not right? is not an accurate historian of what happened during Ms. Heard, that uh, Ms. period Heard. of time. I'll guarantee Ms. Heard, that. that's not my question. Yeah, ob uh, psh, objection, shut the hell up. Uh, this is like saying he's lying in court. Yeah, okay, you're here to tell your side of the story, not his side of the story. You're the one who assaulted someone with a bottle in Australia, isn't that right, Ms. Heard? I didn't assault Johnny in Australia. I didn't assault Johnny ever. I couldn't. I couldn't? <laughs> Why would you say it? <laughs> I, bro, I didn't beat him up. I, I couldn't. Did you try? Yeah, all the time. But I couldn't. He was um, my therapist that uh, was recommended to me from Dr. Kipper. Uh, he and Dr. Kipper worked together. Uh, 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 uh. That's on the inside cover of the love notebook, correct? Yeah, this is a love book that they wrote, which is kind of cute that they shared a love book. But it's kind of sad that most of the love book has uh, them fighting with each other in it. Man, this just reminds me of a bad toxic relationship. And you need one. You know, it's great. As, as horrible as it sounds, it's, it's, it's kind of nice sometimes to be in a, in, a, in a toxic relationship. Because it makes the, the person who's right for you seem just like the most beautiful person on earth. And I've had my share of bad ones. Uh... It makes the good ones feel great. You were here in this courtroom, right, Ms. Heard, when Malcolm Connolly testified to taking this picture? This is the picture. This picture shows an injury to Mr. Duff's face, doesn't it? I disagree. God, this man looks like he got kicked in the face. I've seen this, this is, picture. Uh, okay, Ms. Heard, I've seen I this got picture the Thank before, you. and it, you disagree. he's not injured in it. He's not injured in this picture. Mm -hmm. That's your testimony. Fine. This one is uh, photoshopped. Ms. Heard. Is it? Oh, this is Photoshop. I, I thought you didn't know any of this technology stuff. This jargon, jargon, technology jargon. You didn't know none of that, but okay. okay. It was Photoshop. Photoshop! You testified that you and Mr. Depp got into a fight while on the island in December of 2015, correct? That's correct. I thought he was passing out again in a similar fashion to what he had done uh, the previous year. Imagine going to bed <laughs> and, <laughs> and Amber Heard comes and starts like, Oh, and you're like, whoa, what is that? And she's like, I thought you were nodding off. I thought you were doing drugs. And like, it's two in the morning. I'm tired. What are, what are you? The only reason you're up for 24 hours is because you do shrooms every day. Amber Hood is just, oh, man, I'd be scared to live around home, man. Testified repeatedly that you were concerned about Mr. Depp's substance use during your relationship, right? Yes, that's correct. Very, very uh, concerned about his substance use. Like, amazingly concerned to the fact that, you know, she always brought it up and the fact that the whole trial seems to try and uh, paint Johnny as this druggy person who can barely function, even though this man's been making good movies and been able to make the movies the whole time. I did a lot of changing to support his sobriety. But you drank wine around Mr. Depp on a regular basis, correct? I did drink wine. I mean, look, I, I, I don't know personally how hard it is. Uh... None of those are my vices, but I do have friends who smoke, and I would venture to uh, believe that if they were trying to quit, and I walked up to them and went, could you just light this for me? Um, <laughs> I would be uh, the captain of douchebags at that point. So, you know, having a glass of wine in front of a person who's trying to quit drinking it would probably be like getting a lap dance in front of your celibate friend. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you took Mr. Depp to Hicksville to do, quote, Laffy drugs like mushrooms. Do you enough. see where it says 7 p.m. rehearsal dinner? Yes, I see that. And the next item on the list says, quote, after dance party and drugs and music. Put that on a schedule. <laughs> They put it on. <laughs> hey guys, 7 p.m. is when we do the drugs. At 8, we gotta eat dinner. And by 9, we're bugging into the night. But only till 9.15 because I'm gonna take another break to do the cocaine. She got a schedule. She... <laughs> That's funny. That's really funny. Wow. 
yeah, your idea, original idea was to do drugs on an island after your rehearsal dinner to the drug fueled monster that you were about to marry, right? Um, yeah, it's kind of weird that she, you know, did that. I mean, I'm not here to, uh, make any speculations. I, I guess she can do what she wants, especially if she's in her own company, but it's kind of sad. Like, I, I would assume on my uh, special day that I would like to remember that moment and be perfectly sober. But sure, yeah, like, you know, what Camille is saying is probably true. It's probably not the nicest thing to do if if you're actually trying to avidly and actively preach sobriety and have your partner be sober. This is a text message that you sent to Mr. Depp, correct? That is correct. And, and you sent this message to Mr. Depp the day you had your 30th birthday dinner, right? Let me read it, Camille, please. Hey, baby, bring up, bring up something to drink or and or a joint. I mean, if you are, see you in a man. Sounds like she's encouraging him to uh, smoke and drink as well, isn't it? I'm in if you are. Like, I'll do it if you do it. You knew Mr. Depp had a scheduled business meeting or a money meeting that evening, right? I didn't know if he had one. Addicts lie all the time. So you didn't trust him? I took it with a big grain of addict salt. <laughs> I took it with a big grain of addict salt. I like how she threw that word there. It's not just John. It's not Johnny anymore. It's Johnny the addict. Took it with a grain of addict salt. What? What a way to talk to your partner. Imagine calling your partner who's trying to fight addiction an addict. You druggy. You druggy. Hey druggy. Hey druggy Simpson. How you doing, baby? Wow, what a horrible partner. If nothing else, this just shows how disencouraging she is. She's just discouraging towards uh, Johnny Depp. It's so, like, derogatory towards him. That's so sad. And Mr. Depp texted you that evening to let you know he'd be late, correct? Yeah, he used his druggy phone, and I was like, drug you later. Oops. You consumed drugs at Coachella, didn't you? Yes, I did. I never want a divorce. I didn't want you to f Coachella. You haymakered me, man. You came around the bed and started punching on me. You haymakered me. You came around the bed and started punching. Wow. You're talking about your 30th birthday. No, we're not. I mean, it was a day after. It was about Coachella. And regardless of what you were talking about, you didn't, you didn't deny the fact that he said you haymakered him. If someone said, hey, bro, why'd you hit me? And I didn't. I'd be like, what the hell are you talking about? I... I asked you what day it is, bro. You know what I mean? I, I'd be like, this is kind of false information. I'm going to bring that up. You can't just be saying that. The fact that she's just crying and also they're talking about a day after Coachella makes it seem like this is after the 30th. You're not talking about going to Coachella and... Johnny's talking about that. I am not arguing with him about any of that. Yeah, but it doesn't... That's not the question, Amber. The question is, did this happen after? Is this talking about the day prior? Just because he's talking about it and you're not, it doesn't mean it didn't occur. Is that what's happening? You don't deny anything, do you? I'm not talking to him about that. This is you and your friends at Coachella, correct? That is correct. No injuries to you. Are there misheard? Visible in this picture. Oh, you got a leg on that dude. I thought, I thought, you know, she's testified in her first, uh, testifony. Nobody? Okay. Um, that she said she couldn't wear skimpy outfits. I could clearly see the side of her boobs. Her sad beep. And also, she got a leg around a, another guy and her arm around him. So, like, remember when she, you know, claimed Johnny was so jealous he wouldn't let her even stand next to guys and stuff? Now, I'm, I'm saying this is a racier photo than normal, but okay. I guess suddenly it's okay. You were referencing that Jack's new stepfather would teach him how to be a man because Mr. Depp couldn't. I right? don't recall exactly what I said, but it was something to that effect. Fuck you. Uh, now this recording is a long recording and um, you're going to have to listen to how amazingly insane and vile and uh, almost inhumane Amber sounds. Like her laugh is is scary. It's very scary to listen to this. But, you, you know, brace yourself and, and listen. I don't need you. I don't want your kind of woman. I don't want your kind of woman. I don't want your kind of woman. I've... My uh, you know what? I gotta be real, man. If I marry a girl, I don't want her to say the words "suck my dick" to me. I don't. I don't. I, I don't even think I want to say that to her. And I have one. 
It's like a guy saying, Look at my cooch. I wish I had. I wish I had bought into any of your lies, your sweetness, all the lies. I wish I had bought into the months. I thought I could have kids with you. You're I wish I hadn't bought into any of the lies you still talk about. <laughs> I, I guess um, I try not to. I, I'm not a perfect person, but I try not to say anything that I will later regret in my life. And especially when I'm in the heat of a moment, which which happens. We are not perfect people. Um, these two are not under trial for saying things that they don't mean. I would be remiss if I was a human and expecting these two or any other two people to always be well-intentioned and never... Or lose their temperament or do something that is questionable in character at the same time it's just you know you have to understand that things you say do hurt people and we say things that hurt the most to the people we love the most because the emotions are either i love you so much or i hate you and want to make you feel it and, and it's really a sad yeah sp spectrum of emotion so it's, it's really sad to hear this it's just very hard for me to listen to it I'm sure she's a man. <laughs> Yeah, sure <laughs> yep, there it is. There's the evil laugh. It's bone chilling, really. I'm like getting the chills even listening to it now. Come on, lay it on me. What else? What else other things do you want to add? Oh, no, I want to know. That's what I do. You're the most spoiled fucking brat. And you got everybody. Lola, hold me. I, I need someone to hug. I, oh God, I just don't want anybody who's like that in my life. That is so scary. I'm I'm not acting. I'm not doing this for comedic effect. I'm genuinely scared listening to this. This is creepy, creepy. Figure out what you have to offer as opposed to going out and get your kids out. Aquaman. Oh, oh, oh. Lines, whatever it was. <laughs> in the middle of this conversation, Aquaman. Aquaman. <laughs> There's no context. Mr. Depp got you that role in Aquaman, didn't he? Excuse me? Mr. Depp got you that role in Aquaman, didn't he? No, Miss Vasquez, I got myself that role by auditioning. Objection. <laughs> what? Johnny's always been very jealous when I worked, when I did anything, friends. Yes, he's always been very jealous. Okay. Why are you saying stop? Because May I so go? Please, it goes Johnny's been pretty jealous of the roles that I got in my life from Aquaman lead, second lead love interest to Johnny Depp's wife. He's been pretty, pretty annoyed and jealous. Let me leave. Oh Stop rushing me! Stop pushing me in the corner and then poking me with a stick and then saying, why are you saying the words you want me to say? By the way, I just want to, to clarify that's not actually what he did. He didn't push her in the corner and then grab a stick and be like come on do it do it it's a metaphorical thing but the way that she screams it would have you believe that he actually physically did that which is why it's very dangerous to believe miss hood because half the things that she says i can't i can't tell whether it's actually happening or it's in her mind i really don't know if this lady just believes her own lies to the point where she is just not telling the truth like i said she seems to me like she might even be taking on the George Costanza method where if you believe your lies, are they even lies anymore? But this is not bro. This is not happiness. Please this is not this is stop. Please stop. Please it causes so much fucking stress. I'm gonna die. I feel like I have a heart attack almost every day. Please stop. If that's not an exaggeration, then I don't know what is. You you know, best believe if she's exaggerating to the person's face. She is definitely going to exaggerate to the court. I know you can feel like that, but if that's the case, you should never be in a relationship. That's that's a horrible, anxiety-inducing relationship. That is not a good place to be in. Please and, and what stop are you doing, doing why? it. Please stop. He's so f***ing Why are you f***ing me? Bully. Lisa, you're killing me with this. You're killing me. This man is talking and not even saying anything back. And she is like, stop pushing me in a corner. You're poking me like a bear. You're feeding me to the bees. You're Nicolas Caging me to the movies. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know what to say. Like, imagine dealing with someone who's so frantic, pedantic, and all has all these antics, you know. Jeez, it would be just taxing on your soul. And also, you know, with the divorce, taxing on your wallet physically and literally. Oh, man, this lady is a mess of a woman. I don't think that it's 
if you're 30 plus years old and talking like this and you still haven't figured yourself out to the point where you can't have a normal communication and method you know a line of communication where you're like let's talk it out like grown-ups this is crazy man it seems like the entitlement is there if you aren't able to communicate your point and actually be able to say okay i did this wrong you did this wrong let's walk on it all you're doing is crying and saying i, I, I feel, feel like, like you're killing, killing me, me. <laughs> it's bad Mr. you testified yesterday that this is the photograph that was also taken on may 21st i don't know if those look like bruises man i, I, I don't know hey look i don't i can't say i'm not a forensics expert it just looks like it doesn't have any of that hueish, that blue hueish thing that usually occurs when a bruise happens. But it, but it looks rosy, like when you blush. It looks to me like the one on the left has the vanity light, the makeup lights, you know, the more yellow hued ones that go around the mirror on. And then the one on the right looks like it doesn't have those. Yeah, but that's the same exact picture. You can't make the same exact pose in the same exact stance. So that's the same picture. It's just well, what they say is, you know, edited. They, they, you, you brought the brightness up or the saturation or the levels, something, any one of those Photoshop things. It's the same exact picture. You could have taken it with the same lighting in different settings or like taken a different picture with different lighting, but you wouldn't have the exact same pose. It's just inconvenient for you that Officer Science didn't see injuries on you on May 21, 2016. Officer Tyler Haddon also testified by deposition. No injuries on your face on May 21, 2016. Isn't that correct? They both said that they did not consider me injured. So now you're saying two people, two officers of the law who've dealt with multiple issues this is not their first rodeo, both mischaracterized your uh, uh, injuries. Both of them. Because they shared the same opinion, they were both wrong, and you know what the truth was. They both said... No, you're fine, but they were both wrong. Okay, two people are wrong. You're right. What their testimony was is that they did not consider what my face looked like to be injury. They didn't consider what they walked on in the house damage, but it was. Right, and they also don't know what damage is. Just, yep, of course. Because they're police. They've never walked a case where anything was damaged ever. Got it. Sitting here when Officer William Gatlin testified by deposition, he also did not observe any injuries on you, did he? Okay, three people now claim that, and they're all wrong. Mr. Romero testified that he didn't see any swelling or bruises on your face when you were talking to him at the front desk. He wouldn't have. Of course, okay, now four people, just, okay, all right. You changed the locks to the penthouses on May 22nd, 2016. I attempted to. That's why you felt comfortable having James Franco over the evening of May 22nd, 2016, Ms. Heard? I do not know when James came over. Let's remind you. Um, yeah, Amber Heard then says she doesn't know when James Franco comes over, and they bring up the TMZ clip of James Franco and Amber Heard in the elevator. I think this is really telling. I have been in an elevator before. I think everybody's been in an elevator before. I don't think you ever walk into an elevator doing this. I don't think you turn and face the opposite direction. I don't think you get into an un unnatural position unless someone warns you that, oh, yeah, the elevators might have security or footage. Yeah, that's the thing that um, you'd know where the cameras are. You don't want to be seen. Why don't you want to be seen? Because you're James Franco. You're in everything, even in the security cameras. Why don't you smile for the camera? And your friend Raquel Pennington took this photograph. I heard this is another photograph of you taken inside the court house isn't that right that is correct you having a photo shoot inside the courthouse while you were getting a dvro you wrote this op-ed right miss heard aquaman was released on december 21st 2018 right damn i didn't know it was released that soon before the op-ed i mean like that's a pr move in that case isn't it because if it isn't i i feel like the company would be like why are you doing this that would really mess up a lot of things i mean pr really goes a long way especially in hollywood so I feel like everything that people do is like calculated towards that because a lot of companies require you to promote uh, videos. That's why they have press junkets and you have to show up. Lots of actors don't want to do press junkets. I don't think they want to talk about the movies. Genuinely speaking, I'm sorry to bust anyone's bubble, but... Whoa! <gasps> hey, don't I get a say in this? They have to. They're required to. That's why... Uh, when you have like athletes and they talk about the questions afterward and you're like, oh man, you've been talking about winning games and losing games, doing interviews for like 20 years or why? It's because they have to. They're required to. It's in the contract. So this PR stuff, 
it's very, very close to the date. Kind of crazy. Friends and advisors told me I would never work again as an actress. Correct. It's about your experience after obtaining a temporary restraining order against Mr. Depp, right? That is correct. I, I mean, you know, if I was her team, I would have said, nope. I would have told her to just deny. He who denied it did not supply it. You know. <laughs> wow. She just went ahead and she was like, yeah, that article's about him. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I wrote it about Johnny. It might as well have been called Johnny Come Lately, the new kid I f oh, That sounded wrong, you know what I mean? But, you know, yeah, I was like... Uh, this, this article is crazy. It's a crazy read. If you haven't read it, you should. She really just paints herself as a victim in most situations and is like, women need to be brought up, which they do. And Hollywood is a bad place. It's still not perfect. I think it hasn't been perfect for the longest time, and I don't know what goes on there, but just discovering what happened with Weinstein and everyone else, it's like, how bad is this goddamn place? At the same time, it's not okay to lie about people and put them in that conversation just because they're men. Not everybody's bad in that place. That's crazy. And also, you're with James Franco, a person who has been al allegedly doing this to like other actresses in multiple different accounts. Why not hate on him or like bring that up? You may not have written this title, but you published it, didn't you? I did not publish the title. I, I retweeted the article that included the title in it because that was the article. Yeah, but it, it came out, so you so you published it. You know? <laughs> Although, if you didn't publish it, it wouldn't exist, my guy. <laughs> Come on, now. Huh? This is a tweet from your Twitter account on December 19th, 2018, correct? Oh, he says today I published it. What? Are you going to lie about... I didn't publish it. I had no idea. Today, I published this op-ed. <laughs> Bro, what kind of lies is this? So? You testified yesterday about how your reputation was before these three statements were made, correct? Non-existent. The only thing I ever knew Amber Heard for, and I think most people did, was being Johnny Depp's wife. Let's just call it, let's call a spade a spade. That's all most people knew her for. The articles, you were no longer actively involved in the L'Oreal campaign. Isn't that right? They suspended using my uh, material. And you didn't hear anything about the schedule for Aquaman 2. Correct. That's probably because you suck. Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying. If you were like Meryl Streep or Kate Winslet or Kate Blanchett or, you know, one of them fire-ass actresses who really just light up the screen, I feel like more people would be like, oh man, we gotta fight for this lady. If you put on a good performance, if you even put on a good performance in the court, I'd at least applaud you. But this role that you're playing in the court is just like every other role I've seen you in. Forgettable. Yeah, I know they couldn't attach my name to their promotional materials because of the online stuff. There's been an ongoing smear campaign, yes. Long-running petition to remove Amber Heard from Aquaman sequel reaches over 3 million signatures. Hmm. Man, if that's a smear campaign, that is that is a smear like butt cheeks. You know, wow, great, great, you know, campaign. That's fantastic. Because I don't know a person that has that scope and reach at that level for that amount of time. That is amazing. You have no evidence of that, do you, Ms. Heard? Just look me up, you'll see. I, I looked you up. It says Amber Heard is an actress, and I, f I think that's even a lie. Amber Heard slammed door into Johnny Depp's head reveals new audio. Do you see that? Yeah, these are more of the PR plants. Right, right, of course. Yeah, PR plants that grow PR seeds who then grow into PR trees, and now that's why we call them pears. They used to be called PRs before. Shout out to all the pear. It actually says Kate James also says she often received abusive text messages from Johnny Depp's ex-wife, doesn't it? I just know because he threw down the article. Miss Heard, isn't that what that Mr. says? Mr. Waldman threw the newspaper Ms. Heard. at me afterwards. Miss Heard, that's not my question. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know at what point the judge will be like, you know, the, host, uh, the witness is hostile because at this point she's not even answering questions. She's just trying to speak over people, which is not... Uh, very professional offer and it doesn't come off as as a good testimony because the jury is going to look at this and be like why are you trying to talk over the lawyer like why aren't you being civil or like if you don't have anything to hide why are you fighting with this person it doesn't make you seem very affable or likable which is what she tried to do in the opening testimony she can obviously be a lot nicer around her lawyers than the ones who cross-examine her at least johnny depp comes off consistent regardless
Waldman, Depp's lawyer, said afterwards, quote, Amber Heard and her friends in the media use fake sexual violence allegations as both a sword and shield, depending on their needs. You were not replaced in Aquaman 2, were you? They released me from my contract, and I fought to stay in it, and they kept me in it. I just don't know how much I'm in, actually, of the final cut. So wait, you didn't actually lose the job despite the 3 million petition signatures proves two things. One, petitions don't actually mean as much as we think they do. Two, I'm not watching Aquaman. I, I wasn't going to watch it anyway, but now I'm super not watching it. You would need to put Robert Downey Jr. in the movie for me to consider watching it. And if you put Mr. Bean as Aquaman... I don't care if they had Kevin Spacey in the movie, I'd watch it. Mr. Bean is Aquaman? Oh my god, I would see that. And you testified yesterday that L'Oreal extended your contract again in November of 2021, correct? Not exactly. They extended it because it couldn't use me or any of the materials. That doesn't make sense. But um, because if they couldn't use you in any of the materials, they wouldn't extend the contract. They'd let you go. But anyway, so you didn't lose that work in Aquaman and you didn't lose the work in your famous L'Oreal commercial. Got it. But you've gone out of your way to engage with Mr. Waldman on social media, haven't you? Uh, I have made a comment, I believe, once. I did not. I would not characterize that as engaging with him. It's heard. You tweeted at Adam Waldman, quote. Ah, yes. Here's a uh, quote. Uh, she replied to Adam Waldman, Yes, Mr. Waldman, I may be wearing makeup on this occasion, but on every occasion you will still be short. Oh! Imagine uh, bagging on someone's height. Imagine bagging on someone for something that they are physically unable to change. Wow. <laughs> that makes you a pretty person. Struck Mr. Depp multiple times during your relationship, didn't you, Miss Heard? Absolutely, but men... Uh, a difference between a sore face and a broken nose you bet i would i kind of thought that at the start of this trial she was leaning towards the side of i i really didn't do anything physical towards him and now since the evidence has come out it seems to be more of a defensive stance which is what she took in the 2016 deposition uh when johnny depp was attacking her sister i might be the first person to have been the the, the first one to slap which happened in Australia, you know, when he was choking me. Okay, so he was choking you, but you were the first one to slap. So you were the first person, but he was choked. Okay. I promise you that I'll be perfect. I can't promise you I won't get physical again. God, I get so mad. I won't get physical again, is what she said. You f hit me last night, you f What about all the other times you spit? Hey, come on, you cannot act like that. It's about that. It's well, not. Well, on a plane, I can't split. No, and you hit back spit or split okay so one uh, if he said spit and he spit on a plane that would just be weird Two, split meaning leave which is probably johnny depp lingo see every time johnny depp leaves she's gonna punch him back into staying that's manipulative toxic and everything else under the sun my god she admitted to that on tape so don't act like you don't fucking participate i pushed you right and then i, I didn't punch you here yeah, there it is there it is there it is there it is now I said this a while ago. I said, um, if someone said something that you didn't do, they would correct you, right? She said, and you hit back. And Johnny, instantly, he was like, I, I, I pushed you. If someone said something that mischaracterized you in such a defamatory way, you would instantly correct them. If you didn't do it, if someone said, and then you kicked my face, I'd be like, oh, whoa, whoa. I didn't even, I just got out of the car and dapped you up. I didn't kick your face. That's what a weird thing to say. I would instantly bring it up. You'd have to because you'd be like, where's this coming from? Amber's never done that. Whenever Johnny's like, you hit me. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to work on my Johnny here. Alas, my children, this is the day you should always remember is the day that you almost... Um, she's always like, yeah, but I was angry. Or she tries to make an excuse that he started it or it was warranted or she just didn't know how to control herself. It was never, no, I didn't. She's never admitted or argued to the point that she didn't do what Johnny said on tape, which is so damning that I just cannot see how this could swing any other way than Amber losing this trial. You got hit. I'm sorry I hit you like this, but I did not punch you. I did not f***ing deck you. I f hitting you. Because those words are synonymously used like donation and pledge, of course. I was not slapping you. I was kicking you with my fist. I, I'm not sitting here bitching about it, am I? You are. That's the difference between me and you. You're a 
Baby. You are such a baby. Grow the f up, Tony. I should. I need that as like my. Because we call each other the big babies. I need Amber Heard's. You are such a baby. Every time someone subscribes, I need that. I don't know how, but we should do it. I accused him of being a baby for complaining about me hitting him when he was trying to get through the door. I was trying to barricade. Is that how you barricade it? When you uh, you also admitted to to doing it on tape, but okay. And I I I I accidentally I swear when I was trying to. So then we go to the incident where Johnny Depp said that he checked on Amber Heard's foot because he mistakenly uh, knocked the door into it and then she kicked the door on his face and then hit him after he got up as well. I did not do anything to her. I did not kick a, a door or push a door so that it would hit you. I did not. I, uh, I swear. That I, I don't even... That did not... I did not hit him. I did not. Oh, hi, Johnny. When, when Tommy was out acting is better than yours you need to sit yourself down and make a hot cup of cocoa and and look in the mirror and ask yourself am, am i good enough what so serious let's put a smile on this face what so serious i remember when the door scraped my toes i um i i reacted but this whole the door thing i i remember I, yeah, you, you got to figure out what you want to say because you said you did not. Then you said it wasn't your attention. Then you said you didn't know how you'd react. There's a three different things that have three different connotations. You can't be doing everything. You either did it or you didn't. I never did that. You never did it. Okay. That wasn't on purpose. Oh, you did do it, but it wasn't on purpose. Right. Okay. I might have done it on accident. You did do it 100%, but it's accident. But Got it. I'm sorry. And then I stood up and then you fucking clocked me. I, I remember hitting you as a response to the door thing. Okay, so not only did she kick the door in someone's face, but also when he got up, she decked him. You didn't mean to hit me in the head with the door, but you meant to I didn't punch mean, me in the jaw. I meant to hit you, and I, I, I did not do this thing with the door. I okay, so she, yeah, she even admits on tape that I did, in fact, mean and intentionally uh, smack you in the face. I decked you in the jaw. That's what she said on tape we have her saying this multiple times and we're going to continue this case now, you've heard this audio before haven't you miss heard so you've had plenty of time to think about how to respond to this recording haven't you no objection what what the hell happened did, did her lawyer die of old age what happened to this lady is she there is karen there well let's take a look at how you responded to it the first time would you listen to this please Eating is a is a thing of comfort. People don't eat when they're nervous. Usually, when you get anxiety, or when when you're doing something uh, off nervousness, you don't normally eat. It's just it's it's usually, generally speaking, sort of a body language thing. When you're comfortable, then you are able to ingest food. So this woman is so comfortable; she is eating. So they put the plate of donuts out here to test your guilt. If you don't touch it, you're guilty. I ate the whole plate. She did it! I don't even know what the hell she's eating. She's just like a one-shotting it. Like, hey man, huh? It's pretty good. If he was ever pushed, it was it was a quote. He called it a, a cold clock. I mean, it's just very dramatic. Yeah, even if he misrepresented the thing that you said, the fact that you know it off by heart is uh, sort of like interesting in the fact that it's happened so much that you're like, yeah, whenever I do that, he always says it's like, uh, you know, cold clocking. You shouldn't be doing that. There's no, uh, you shouldn't be doing that in the first place. That in itself is problematic. My boy, Mr. Bean, checking his hair in between. You know, it's been a couple hours. He was like, do I still have it? Oh, yeah, yeah I do. Yeah, it's good. I remember sending this because I wanted to tell Johnny or have him told by Jerry or someone who knew him or was close to him. Okay, she's, you know, making the zero sense. She's got that zero sense IQ at this point. Let me just explain what's happening. They uh, now have uh, a divorce and then she wants uh, Johnny to not find out through some other source. Problem is, she's going to slip up really badly just now and say that a source like TMZ uh couldn't have got it and then she 
she puts her hand over her mouth and then does this to try and avoid it but it's uh, an instinctual reaction when you make a mistake to snap out of something so that he finds out about the divorce filing or my intention to do so from some other source other than TMZ which was alerted slipped up there didn't you miss heard looks like Amber Heard ended up in the Amber turd nobody said anything about TMZ why would they have it I thought you were the only one who had any of this information kind of slipped up huh Team Z is the same outlet that you released the video of Mr. Depp attacking the kitchen cabinets the day before this deposition was taken, wasn't it? I didn't do that. I don't TMZ know how owns to do the that. Copyright. Uh, regardless if you don't know how to do it, they couldn't have got a personal video. A video of me shaking my ass is not just gonna get out to like TMZ unless I give it to them because nobody else has that video. That's a private video and even I want to delete that. If it's a personal or private video, the only way that it will get out if you're not putting it on social media and making it public, is if you give it to someone. She's lying. And she lied in 2016. And her tell was as soon as she said TMZ, she was like, Oh, do you like the weather? I have no idea what TMZ Did they owns. pay you for that? I never got paid for it because I had nothing to do with that. So TMZ was just lucky in getting the inside scoop to your divorce from Mr. Depp, huh? They were just lucky in getting the divorce inside scoop and they were lucky in getting private videos that they would have to hack your phone to then get. Yeah, TMZ Anonymous. Wow, what a collab. I have no idea. It is not, that's not my area of ex expertise. I wouldn't even know how to do that. And also, what does that get me? If I wanted to leak things about Johnny, I could have done that in a much more successful way, in a bigger way. Could you? Like People Magazine? Because you did that. How, how much bigger? What's your reach? Is there a bigger reach for you than TMZ and People Magazine? I don't think you have that many cards in your hand. I I I not even need to look at your poker face. I don't even think you have a deck. Tossa Van Reeves, your ex-wife, right? That's right. She's my ex-partner. You committed domestic violence against Miss Van Reed during your relationship, didn't you? No, I did not. She did, and she was in jail for a night. So, you did. I'm just saying. You assaulted her at a Seattle airport in 2009, didn't you? No, I did not. And people saw that, and it was covered in the press. Isn't that true? It was, a pl it was planted in the press by Johnny's team. But you, but you did do it, though. Again, I don't mean to be general about it, but f for the police to arrest a white girl, <laughs> you gotta have done something. So Mr. Depp is not the only domestic partner you've assaulted, is he, Miss Heard? I've never assaulted Mr. Depp or anyone else that I've been romantically linked to, ever. No further questions, Your Honor. Uh, so that is all we will get off Miss uh, Camille Vasquez. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's how you say her last name. But uh, old Breda Hoffman here is going to butcher everything. And what you're about to witness, I, I chop down. Because it is the most redundant uh, use of lawyering I've ever seen, I think, in a courtroom of law. Breda Hoffman should have her law license revoked. She should... She should get her firm turned into a floppy whatever and just taken to a trailer somewhere in the middle of nowhere. And she should keep her practice there among the trees because I, I actually genuinely feel sorry for her. Not just because of how outclass she is going to get now with the redirect, but just how bad she is at her job. I don't know if this woman has ever taken on a case before, but she is possibly the most incompetent lawyer i have ever seen in my life genuinely speaking and it's crazy i don't know where rottenburn went but i hope he comes back soon because what you're about to hear is i don't know 20 to 30 um sustained objections because breda cannot do things correctly objection hearsay and just continues to flub this up it's it's amazing it's mesmerizingly bad I don't know if this is true. I'm not sure if this will actually happen, but Amber Heard is apparently liable or maybe potentially going to face perjury charges for lying under oath. I don't know if that's true, but I initially said for this case, rather than the money being exchanged, I think lying under oath to try and um, ruin a person's career is actually worse. And if we keep letting it happen without any um, repercussion, then people are just going to keep doing it. So someone needs to fall on their sword. And I think that Amber might have to.
in my personal opinion. But anyway. Uh, so when you make these kind of filings, meaning divorce, uh, marriage, things like that, they are public record. I asked my team to file in the most discreet way to kind of hide more of a shot of being missed by the paparazzi and by TMZ. Yeah, but they wouldn't check. It's public record just as many things are, but people don't actually check if they're not given reason to. And if they're given reason to or loaded to, depending on the time, it would be because someone took them off. Otherwise, nobody's just checking. Unless someone says something or you see something that's a bit out of character, out of pocket, then maybe you'll check. But if that's not the case, nobody's going to just check. I know they're public records, but you don't randomly check. That's really stupid. There's too many people to be doing that. That's not reasonable to say. We met in the lawyer's office. They gave us a moment. Johnny kissed me again, held me. I cried. He cried. And then... Uh, I'm going to object very soon to that. We had a short exchange and he put a note in my pocket that said, I'll love you dead or alive, my Slim, with his new phone number on it. I'd like to bring up, Michelle, if you can defend... You know, objection, he'll say, and if not, he'll say, evidence to prove it. He kissed you in a divorce court of law and uh, after you had a restraining order placed against him, which you could then say that he breached. He put his new number in your pocket, which you should have the phone off or any records kept of the texts of the new phone, this or that, to prove that he indeed did do what he said. Hi, this is the new number, something like that. None of that, you got none of that, but you're saying all of the stuff. I just don't believe it. I don't believe it. Why Mr. Depp couldn't or wouldn't look you in the eye here or in the UK? Because he's guilty. Because he's, he knows he's lying. Otherwise, why can't he look at me? I survived. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know if you can say that you're a survivor after admitting to being the initiator to um, smacking someone up and actually catching yourself on tape doing that as well as evil laughing, uh, threatening people, bullying people, doing everything wrong, basically. I, I just don't know how you can say things like, I survived. I survived that man and I'm here and I'm able to look at him. Thank you. Yeah, the Oscar for best asshole goes to Amber Heard right now. The douchebag award of the year. And you indicated that you, in fact, had after the divorce. Objection correct? leading. I, 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 did, did, you, did you or did you not consult an ENT after the divorce? Objection leading. <laughs> Bretta. Bre Breda, what happened after? What did... The, don't lead into the question, you... Ooh, Breda. To the defendants relating to this. Objection. Leading. Right. I'll sustain the objection. Thank you. So leading. I, next question. Your Honor, if we could... Right, be, if witness we... could be instructed not to answer until I right, lodge we'll my objection. Wait for the objection, could, please. What, if any... Uh, yeah, so thanks, Camille. Actually, that was really good of her to say because, um in a court of law like you know everything will be stricken off the record sure after the objection was made but the jury's still gonna hear this so if amber chooses to talk despite hearing the objection she's still gonna get the words out even though on the record it might be stricken and maybe the jury forgets on that day they won't because she's still talking over it so it's uh good that camille like brought up you need to you know tell the witness uh, or the person on stand to stop once the objection is made. It was suggested that you had not produced this in discovery. Is that true? Objection, Your Honor. Leading. Your Honor, she, and she absolutely so did it's, that. It's leading. It is leading mm -hmm. question, though. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. Please. Please, Breda. Please. Please, Breda. Can you just, just, can you just say the words, Amber, what happened next? Well, then, then what happened, Amber? Just, just make it as general as possible, because we're going to be here forever. You can, you can just see Breda being like, I'm done with this sh**. Look at her. Objection, Your Honor, hearsay. I'll sustain the objection. Do you recall objection, that Objection, Your Honor, leading. Your I'm entitled to go into what Ms. Vasquez is. The objection is leading. I'll sustain the objection. God damn, this is brutal. I don't know if I have to feel sorry for this lady. Objection. Leading. Objection, Your Honor. This is outside the scope of cross-examination. Prior consistent statement. I'm going to sustain the objection. It's observation is for the... Eh, you can't. Don't argue with the judge, Bretta. ...was kneeling on your back, knowing you had a backless dress. Objection, Your Honor. 
leading, calls for speculation. It's still, still leading. I'll sustain the objection. Okay. Objection, Your Honor. Why did leading? You, I haven't asked the question. Hearsay. I mean, why did you not ask? Oh, she's not. Even the judge is like, I don't give a, give a shit anymore, Brett. I'll ask you shitty questions. Nobody's even listening. I checked. I'm mentally checked out in June. I'm done. I'm done. Why did you not ask for $32.5 million for Mr. Depp? Your Honor, leading. Objection. What the hell? I'm sorry, is she entitled to literally half? I, I'm sh I, Yeah, if there's no prenup, maybe so. But uh, I thought it was like half of their net assets. Uh, why is it the early salary? This is a weird thing for Bretta to even uh, talk about. What? I said, why did you not ask? And relevance. I'll sustain the, the objection. Exactly. Yeah, relevance. Sustain objection to leading. Next question. Why? Why can I just ask? Why did you not ask for thirty-two point five? You just asked the question again. <laughs> I'll sustain the objection. Okay. I'm. J can I just ask it though? <laughs> she just asked it again. Five million for Mr. Dow because I didn't want it. I realized that that's what I was entitled to, but I didn't want it. You know, in any case, why didn't you get the 32.5 and give that to charity instead of seven? I'm not sure why you settled on that number. If you could get such a big number and contribute to the cause even more so than you already did. Just seems arbitrarily weird to me. Play that has you laughing quite a bit. Can you tell the jury what the context of that particular tape recording was? Not show my pain. That's what I was trying to do now right and so that's why you're laughing you know yeah so i just wanted to not show pain so i laughed i laughed through my pain what do you do johnny cry you bitch you baby what if any role did mr depp play in your getting aquaman he tried to have me fired from it no oh, hearsay what <laughs> speculation what the fuck objection your honor you're say speculation. speculation. All right, I'll sustain yep. speculation. <laughs> the speculation. How do you know that any you one of those? Objection, Your Honor. What are you talking about? What are you just going to say the stuff? Bretta, this is what you should have been doing when Camille was saying stuff like, oh, what? you didn't look at Johnny because you felt this. Speculation, hearsay. You should have been doing that. You could have. You had every right to, and it would have been sustained objections well within your right if you had exercised that right while Camille was talking. Because she definitely towed the line and why wouldn't she tow the line if you didn't object to anything did james franco visit you because he was my friend and he lived next door and was happy to welcome as much friendship at that time as i could possibly get no. yeah but he came during the week that johnny depp was out of uh town i'm not saying that you know friends can't come while other friends are out of town but her friend was coming while johnny depp was out of town I would mic drop, but the mic's too expensive. The interaction was he, uh, after seeing my face, put his Jackson, head on my calls shoulder. calls for speculation. That doesn't call for speculation if she sees the... All right, next what, question. What did Mr. Franco do? By the way, so far, I'm not sure if you're following a redirect. Usually is when uh, the lawyers come in, like, straighten out some of the loose ends created by the cross-examination, and they sort of, like... Uh, get the jury back onto their side by being like, yeah, they tried to spin it this way, but really it was like this. Britta is doing a fantastic job of getting people to believe Johnny Depp is innocent. So she is just, I don't know if he hired her for Amber, but what a great job she's doing. We need to give her a round of applause for how, you know, she is just doing so well for Johnny right now. I'll sustain the objection. Next question. I don't have any more questions, Your Honor. All right, thank you. I'm done, Your Honor. I, I can't do it anymore. F this. I'm out of here. This is crazy, Your Honor. And that is how the cross-examination and redirect ends. Amber Hood got grilled like a, a cheese sandwich. Okay, she just got absolutely eviscerated in my eyes. I think that this was a fantastic cross-examination, as good as anybody could do it. Um, and I think because, you know, Johnny's got some great lawyers, they, they basically brought up Amber's character. They questioned things like if she said what she said, um, would she be able to rec recount that event correctly? They brought up her past incidents and how they differ from now, her use of language and what 
her interpretation of things means they let her speak at the times that she needed to speak to actually show that she thinks that she's correct over people like the police and doctors in which she said the doctor's report didn't have the information it needed to the police didn't see her as injured things like that where if you're a jury member if you're a juror you'd be like dude how entitled do you have to be to be like i'm going against the doctor i'm going against the police who else are you going against it just makes amber seem like someone who's living in her own world and i think that's best summarized by the quote i was hitting you i wasn't punching you because in her world things like donations and pledges are exactly the same thing they're synonymous with each other so i guess uh, at the end of the day amber the only thing i can say is that justice and jail time are synonymous with one another and you might be getting both at the end of this trial uh that is all i have to say for this one i'm sorry that it was so long but thank you so much if you stuck around if you like these videos and if you like lawyer leo please let me know down below we still have a couple videos to go on this trial before the verdict i'm very excited to see what happens i am just as invested as everyone else and i hope that uh we can get to the end of this really soon thank you so much take care of yourselves and the next ones we have is the witnesses and the concluding statements so Brace, get your popcorn ready, and I will see you very soon for another episode of Loyal Leo. All right, bye-bye.